you know, I think the older you get, the more you appreciate gifts from the heart. Like any other Christmas, we tell everybody we don't need anything. We just want you all. We want time. But at the same time, I thought I'd show you just a few of the gifts that uh, can put a smile on somebody's face. Bonds, Bond, Bonds, New York, I guess is how you say that. Bondsy gift. I got some little chicken earrings. Ah. And the one thing I like about these earrings when I put them in, I got a piece of fuzz right there. They can uh, face the same way this way or face the same way that way. I've already worn them. You may have seen them. And these came from our daughter-in-law and my stepson, and got some turkey with the pumpkin earrings. I told her, I said, I still have uh, some video from the fall. I said, I may have to put these in when I talk about it, but little pumpkin earrings. Uh, she also crochets, uh, makes cups. Uh, I've gotten cups in the past with chickens and roosters on them. But things like that mean a whole lot. Uh, Michelle does stuff all year round. And I tell her, I say, honey, focus on the kids at Christmas. It's not about the gifts. It's about spending time together. Yeah, January 4th. I was going to use my truck cup, and I didn't. But anyway, while I was there one day, she made me a welcome to the funny farm flag to go outside. Sublimation. I've got a little spot right there I put on there. I was baking a cake this morning, and I got to get that wiped off. I thought I had it all off, but she made that for me. Wasn't it Christmas? But it was at Christmas. You know what I'm saying? All year round. She also made me this towel. Gather here with grateful hearts, the Lowry's. And I got these before Christmas. I was over there one day. I actually did a film on her uh, doing supplementation, which... I am going to show. It's just I haven't shown it yet. And she tells me, she me messages me when her dad's on his way home one day. And she says, Mom, I'm sending you those Contigo cups of mine that I don't want anymore. And look at that. They look like brand new. She's not like me. I throw mine in the dishwasher. She takes, I think I've got four total, but it's. Three's what I found. Look how pretty. Why go buy me something when I don't need it? She passed on something that I will think of her every single time I take it with me. I already do. I already have some cups she gave me from before. And when I use them, I think of her, Michelle. So... Sometimes it's stuff that you pass on to somebody that's the greatest gift. It doesn't have to be something you go and buy. Uh, Sadie made me this before Christmas for the tree. It's Sadie and Mila on one side. And a little bit with Mila on the other. 
Adeline and Sadie both love Neela. Or that's not cute. Homemade gift. I said that's all I want for Christmas. But Adeline dressed up as a, a reindeer, Rudolph. And I wanted a picture of her. And the only way I could get a picture of her is to promise I wouldn't show it. So, Mama's got a picture for Christmas of a little bit being a reindeer. As of right now, I can't show it, but she might let me in the future. She also got me something from the Santa shop. Now, I don't really want to tell you what it is right now, but I, I'll tell you. It's a towel, and it had a saying on it that was so fitting. I don't know what I did with it. I left it in the package. Kenny brought it home one day. It was when I was sick, I believe. And him and Eli went over to Michelle's. But another thing Adeline did when Mamma was sick, she drew me some pictures and sent them to me. One's about the cats. I like the cat, Adeline. Look at that. What more precious gift than this? It doesn't have to be a special occasion. It can just be because I love you special occasion. She sent me that one. And she sent me this one. I love you. I'm going to assume this is Papa and me. And I don't know if the other one's Eli or Adeline. But she says, I love you. Look at that. To me, most precious gifts. And the towel she got me. Sadie made me the ornament. But she also did a Santa shop. And got her mama this. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. She got me a pot holder. I got two gifts. I'm only supposed to get one out of the Santa shop, Sadie. She got me two gifts. She wanted me to have the matching towel. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. She knows Mama. She knows her well. She knows her colors. So at the Santa shop at school. When we were at Michelle's, we were allowed to take some of the ornaments off the tree and only picked out some. I picked out three. Uh, one is a uh, little Sadie. Think kindergarten. Or it might no, that one may not may, that one may be kindergarten. I don't remember. Pre K for Adeline. And another one is Sadie with her little attitude face. That might be first grade. Little ornaments. You can make you a Christmas tree with memory ornaments. And Michelle and I actually talked about that last night. And at the end of the video, I'll, I'll explain why. Omi and my sister, and I don't haven't showed all the video of that yet. They had went to several things back in the fall also. Omi came back. She was wearing these, but she said she had to wear them before she gave them to me. She said, I bought three pair. I know she's got a pair of truck earrings. Don't remember what the other ones were. But then she gifted me these little earrings. Look like cup bottle lids. And I wear them. You've probably seen them. I tell her the same thing. Keep your money if you have it. Because <laughs> most of us don't have a lot anymore. You know how prices are going. I said, time is the most valuable thing. It is. Kenny and I agreed not to buy presents this year. Did I say that already and not finish? Uh, we've got something else planned that we're going to do together closer to my birthday. And we decided whatever we th do through the year, as long as we're spending time together, that's a present, right? So, 
we kind of saved back for a little adventure we're going to be on. But the agreement was that Eli could actually get each of us something for Christmas. Kenny said, <laughs> Eli seen this in the store and said, Mama would love that. It says, love you to the barn and back. I think all my kids, all my grandkids, know their mama well, don't they? I think they do. As you've seen in another haul, uh, Tammy made me some ornaments for the tree, and Omi still hasn't got her little ornament snowball ornament because I was thinking Kenny and Eli and Tammy said, uh-uh, one of them zombies. <laughs> so, I've got to, uh, didn't put it in on Miss goodie bag. I forgot. But I've got to make sure she gets that. The whole point, I guess, other than just showing you uh, these items, is the thought that went behind it. The children know their mamma, and they did with what they had. They didn't know they were getting the money to start with for Secret Santa. If they did, I don't know. So I, here I got the picture of uh, Adeline, and then I got the heart ornament, wherever I put it, that uh, Sadie chose to make me one day when I was there. So these go on the tree. I've got my tree still here with my ornaments from Miss Tammy. And one reason I'm telling you all this now, something happened three days after Christmas. As I've said before, we're a blended family. So we don't always get to see everybody very often. Uh, for Christmas Eve, all the kids were there. Not all the grandkids. Some of them are getting older and they've got their own lives to live. Not all the little ones because they have to go where their parents take them. So our grandson, Christopher, his little girl was 10 months old on Christmas. Her birthday came to find out was when Kenny's daddy's birthday was, February 25th. But Amy calls me on the 28th of December to let me know a little smiley face wasn't here no more. Not gonna say I got to spend a lot of time with Paisley at 10 months old. But me and only what time we had with her, we enjoyed, we loved. Only keeps reliving her time this summer with her because like I said, it's mainly when Amy and my stepson had her on weekends with Christopher that uh, we'd actually get to see her. And we actually got to see her at, uh, I'm having a hard time today, I'm sorry. It's rainy and I'm tired. <laughs> Um, Alexis, Michael's youngest daughter, is Paisley's aunt, and that was one reason she wasn't going to come the few days after Christmas because she was going to stay home with her parents, and then she decided she wanted to come with Mama and Papa, and I can understand why Mama kind of wanted to keep her close. But please, keep everybody, the whole family, the ones that love Paisley in your prayers because, you know, when you lose someone, you get a lot of uh, well wishes and prayers and thoughts when things first happen. But as time goes on, you know, people have a life to live and you're still left with that hole in your heart. And every great once in a while, it doesn't hurt for somebody just to tap you on the shoulder, give you a hug. I'm just going to show you the 
in memory of little Paisley Brenda Christine Williams. She was 10 months and three days old. So very unexpected. I'm gonna remember her smile forever. Until next time, we'll talk soon. Thank you.